Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the 900, my Battletech Flashpoint series. Um, this one I'm trying to get up to the same number of episodes as my uh, Cold Forged Battletech series. So I'm going to be posting two of these for every one right now that I've got of Cold Forged. Uh, I want to get them up to the same number of episodes because I want to do a comparison between the two just to see where we're at with both as we as we progress along. I think that might be kind of interesting. Um, you know, if, if you haven't subscribed, please, please feel free to subscribe. I'm going to have links over to my um, um, Cold Forge series at the end of the episodes, so please feel free to click on those and go check it out. If you haven't uh, checked my channel out, please go check my channel out. I do have a few other series on there, uh, Rogue Tech style and stuff, so you can check that out. Um, also, drop a like and com feel free to comment. I love comments, so just you know, comment to your heart's content. Um, so we're going to jump into this right away today. We're going to go to the barracks first before we jump on to the base defense mission that we were planning on doing today. So we're going to check out our mech warriors. And um, I don't really have enough yet. I haven't decided which, which route I'm going to go with my commander yet. It's probably going to be along the piloting and gunnery route. Might be piloting bulwark. I haven't quite decided yet what, what he's going to do. Um, we're slowly gaining experience now for our mech warriors because we got our training module up and running. So let's get this going too. So we got forts across the board. That's kind of what I'm working for right now. I don't like I said, I'm not sure which way we're going with these guys yet. Um, and she's got that. And now, Shiv, let's get your piloting up. You tend to have a tendency to be in close a lot. Actually, you know what? Let's get your guts up. I don't want you to get killed. Let's make sure we've got guts across the board for all the pilots that we're, we're, we're running right now. Just so that we're uh, safe here. So let's go this route and confirm. All right, so now we're ready to go. So let's go to the command center and go to the contracts. There's only one good contract left on this planet, and that's Wolves. So we have to defend a base. It's a 4 of 18 salvage, and I think we're going to go full salvage on this once again. Uh, we want to get some stuff that we can sell. Um, Capella Confederation, we're going to lose a little bit of uh, reputation with them. But once again, I'm not 100% worried about rep at this moment. Need to get myself going. Uh, we did pick up a couple of mechs last episode. We picked up a uh, um, another Panther, which is great. Uh, we managed to out outfit this guy with uh, three medium lasers and an SRM-4, plus some jump jets. And we pulled the Commando and the um, Spider out of service for now, so we're not paying for them at the end of the month, which is good. So let's deploy and get this done. Command interface okay, here we go. Base defense in the jungle. Nice. Now, I haven't played this map before, so it's nice to see it for the first time. So, we're going to have some additional support. Looks like they're going to bring the uh, towers up online. Convoy of engineers coming up and helping us out. Escort, or escort them to safety. Okay, cool. So, um, they need to get up to here to get these turrets online. So, we got a turret there. Where are the other turrets? One. Nothing there. Two. Maybe it's only two turrets. I don't know. Oh, there's one over here. There's usually four. But this one appears to be missing. Alright, well. That's fine and dandy. Let's get... Um, Ready for orders. I might change Rhea to to uh, medium lasers again instead of the PPC. So four medium lasers in the SRM-4. Uh, I got three in an SRM-4 on this one, so might just do that. Let's get the Jenner down here. We got some speed. Let's get into the trees. Coordinates received. I don't see anybody yet. Uh, the Vindicator I want to hold back. So we're going to set up back here for now. I don't know where the enemy is coming from. Let's get a panther up over here scouting. And let's get another panther over here. So let's find out what's going on with this map here. So here comes those vehicles. Probably after they're done moving, we're going to find out where the enemies are coming from. So this is a one skull, expecting two lances of enemies. The last mission was a one skull too, but they were a full lance with damaged vehicles or damaged mechs so I don't know what to expect with this one 
fact that we're going to have turrets and two vehicles to help us out. Could be two, two lances with full armor and everything. And I bet you they drop... Oh, here we go. So it's a light mech. I'm going to um, engage this guy. I find that when you engage the enemy, before they have a chance to target anything else, they'll stay engaged with you. So I'm going to turn my left side to this guy. Oh, here's where they all are. Great. So we've got a locust. PPC, fire. Oh, miss. Okay. Hopefully they'll stay engaged with the panther. Pair of LRM5s it looks like. Yep. Being in the open is not a good idea. Yeah, we're going to change that up in a minute. Alright, we need you back up here, buddy. So, uh, let's sprint it up. I'm going to put you in the trees up here. They're probably going to have more guys coming from this side afterwards. So I don't want to get down here and engage these guys. I want to engage them from range if I can. Yeah, he's shooting at the buildings already. Damn it. See, this is, an, this is a case where multi-target is definitely useful. Okay, Shiv. We don't have the range to fire on the commando or anything. Maybe it would have been a good idea to leave that large laser in here, but... I think for the most... For most cases, it wouldn't have been that useful. Yeah, we can't really fire on anybody. So let's sprint it up. I'm going to move into here so I can spot these guys. Now, do these guys... They don't have a lot of armor. Oh, stop. That's a panther. That's a panther. These guys are ramshackle, so... Can I get down to see that panther? I can. So let's do that. We're going to engage this panther. Going to fire. Nice. Okay. There we go. Now we got our turrets up. Where's that fourth turret? Is it over here somewhere? So this, now their vehicles are going to engage. It's not really good if you're trying to get salvage, but it's good if they're just going to do sensor lock. Welcome to the party, boys. They're all like, I don't see how that's a party. Okay, so we need to engage that commando. And I'm going to do that with... Um, now that I got two panthers, I can't uh, identify who's who. So we're going to do that with Rhea. Can we get up here? We most certainly can. Going to get up here. Going to engage this panther. Or, sorry, the commando. Firing. Nice. I want to keep his eyes off of those buildings. That, that one building up there is, like, within one turn of being destroyed. Probably going to fire in the building now. No, well, I guess he's identified the Vindicator as the uh, biggest threat. So, next move is Shiv. Let's jump here. And maybe target this... Ooh, the Locust is nice and juicy. Let's fire on him. Yeah, definitely liking that loadout. The extra chances to hit is really nice. A critical hit. So that should be his LRM gone on one side. Now the Panther's damaged in one leg. Yeah, crap. Okay, awesome. You, Let's see if we can finish up that Locust. Gonna do it from the flank here. It's a chance to hit here. 65s. Let's fire all four. So three hits. That's nice. CT destroyed. So that guy we don't have to worry about. And stay down. Now I could target the Panther again. Because he's got that PPC. But I think I want to get rid of this commando. I think I can do that. 
find out how much armor he's got left here in a second. So, yeah, he, we've almost burrowed through the one side of him. So we're going to do the continua continuation of the burrowing and move over here. Going to fire on the side of this guy. Hopefully we hit. There we go. A torso gone. Well, I was hoping we could destroy him, but... Thinking maybe I'm going to pull that PPC off the Vindicator, put the large laser in. It's dropping the damage by 10, but lowering the heat, and I can add an, like another medium laser or something. Cool. I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. Yeah, I know. I know, Captain Obvious. I thought you would have been making a break for it. Seven rounds left. We should have these guys finished up. Yeah, so they are coming from this side, but they are a fair ways away. And they're going to have to deal with turrets first before they get to the base. So I think I'm okay with that. I don't see anybody else over here. I don't see anybody over here. So we are in a good position. So let's finish this up. So I want to get... Rhea. Once again, I'm still playing this like Rogue Tech. Um, in regards to not jumping to hide now, but I want to try and finish up as best we can these guys before the other guys are too close. So I'm going to target this guy in the back, firing. Oh, you needed a hit with that PPC. So I'm thinking I'm going to start dropping the big nasty weapons and adding more weapons. I think that's going to be key here. Okay, so we want to get somebody onto the side of the commando. We're going to shoot this guy in the side, fire everything. So if you want to kill a guy fast, usually burrowing through one side is the best way to do it. Especially if you're just randomly shooting, like if you have no cho choice but to randomly shoot. Then your best bet is to randomly shoot on one side. Right? Because then you're just going to rip the side apart. You won't be splashing to areas that, you know, don't matter, like the left and right arms and stuff, right? There we go. So that guy's gone. 900 foot Jesus is going to hammer this panther. And the other three mechs are going to move back to engage those guys. So they're getting within range. Um, problem is this panther is not exposing the side I want. So in this case, I am going to move around to the front and hope that he does target me. So we're going to fire everything. Okay. Don't sensor lock him. Shoot at him. See, there's like another turret post over here that's not active. And one here that's not active. And one here. Come some missiles. Just go for the legs, guy. Go for the leg. Knock him down. Nope. Unsteady, though. Oh, he missed. Oh, he's far. Okay, he's firing at the turret. That's good. All right, so you guys are now Standing by. on attack duty on this side. So let's get up over here. Let's get you back here. Don't have quite the range as everybody else. That's fine. At least it doesn't steam that way. Um, that's going to put me in overheat. So we're just going to brace. I was hoping we get a pot shot away on that guy, but no big vindicator will take care of the issue. Uh, let's get into the trees over here. Should be spotting these guys shortly. Okay. I have for Jesus. Let's get back. I don't want to jump, though. I'm going to walk it back to here get ourselves with a movement distance of getting back out and facing the other guys and we're gonna fire everything there goes the left torso Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. 
Unstable. Now he's going to take a full round of rack of missiles here. Oh, the APC's coming in for some fighting, eh? About time. Come on, crit that engine. Oh, you can't crit the engine here. Never mind. It's always nice seeing those in Rogue Tech, seeing those uh, engine hits, gyro hits, you know, crit damage here and there. Okay, can we get a knockdown on him, please? Almost. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We're not even going to shoot you. That turret's going to take care of the rest of it for us. Don't shoot at the buildings. Okay, thank you. Not taking the bait. I'm not going to chase him down. There's no point. But he is unstable. I I'm going to reserve. I want these guys to move in first. Maybe that turret will kill them for us. <laughs> we don't have to expose ourselves. Alright, now I'm for Jesus. Let's get up here. Uh, I'm going to turn slightly like this. So I'm going to analyze my loadout before the end of the month. Let's fire the PPC. Just change, our, change it up a bit. I know we're going to need long range weapons. There goes the right torso. Is that a knockdown? Because he'll be unconscious if it is. It is. That should be it for him. Because both torsos and the knockdown. Okay, good. So that's some good salvage there. I can't believe that turret CT'd that guy, though. That was awesome. What's in this turret, though? It's a light shredder turret, so probably a couple of autocannon twos. No, it wasn't that turret. Was it this one? Oh, it's got four AC twos. Nice, man. Nice. Um, we're gonna reserve. Let the turret go. And the APCs. Oh, the turret goes on turn one. Or is he already gone? No, he's already gone. That's right. All right, so let's get. Receiving you. Now that that guy's got no uh, aye, aye. evasion left, he's open juicy meat target. Okay, and everything hit there. Looked like. What can I do for you? Let's get possum. Uh, I don't want to move too much where that other guy can see us. So we're gonna try and stay close to this cliff to make that guy come around further to get to us. And it's going to overheat us. It's going to fire three. Roger that. Firing on target. Okay. And then we're going to do an offensive push with, with uh, Rhea here. So let's jump to here. And we're going to offensive push this guy just so we can knock him back a turn. Target the torso. Let's see if we can get that arm. Yep. We got the arm, so we don't have to worry about the PPC now. Just got the SM4 in the center torso. Comes the LRMs. Here comes those devastating AC2s. Oh, you can't get this guy. Okay. I should try and save him for the turret. Let the turret get all the kills. Oh, another Panther. Crap. Oh, he's not moving. All right. Uh, let's go with... Waiting on you, Commander. I think... I have to move these Panthers up here. I think Possum needs to be back here. Um, let's attack this guy straight out. We're not even going to move. Firing a full salvo. And that's it for him. He's just taking a bit of a dirt nap. Okay, so this defense base defense mission is actually relatively simple on this map. Commander. Now I'm sure at, at higher levels it's going to be a lot more difficult but currently it's it's a little a little easier. So let's get the Jenner next and we're going to move to here stay in the woods on my way. and we're going to precision strike this guy and we're going to go for a CT shot and fire Got it. just want to push him back a turn that's all we want. Drop the evasion off him Let's get around on him here. So everyone else is going to be firing again before he gets to go. Um, chance to hit 85. Let's go precision strike CT. Got it. Push him back two turns. And that way, my Vindicator gets to go twice. And hopefully we can get into a position where we can shoot him. 
comes the APC. Yeah, sensor lock. Nice. This guy's toast now. Oh, we can jump and shoot, though. Let's go to here. Just be able to fire the PPC, and that's it, probably. Yep, 80% chance to hit, though, so we're just going to fire. Are you kidding me? No damage that was a ripoff. Okay, the AC's got a fire still. LRM's got a fire still. And this guy's got no evasion. Come on, finish him up. These APCs move so slow. Comes the missiles. A little bit of instability, and then here comes the ACs. Nice. Let's finish this guy up, man. What can I do for you? you don't even need to move. Just shoot him. Can we get them all? Nope. Three of them. Okay, the threat's gone now. Pilot injured. Yeah. Critical hit. Yeah. You need to jump and high five when you say that. Yeah. Sorry, it's a Scott Pilgrim Copy reference. That. All right, let's fire to this guy. Copy that. All right, this guy's almost done. Don't even need to move. Just attack. He won't survive past these next two attacks. There he goes. Finished it off with three rounds left. Nice. Okay, so that one skull base defense mission, pretty easy. Okay, so 60,000, got some good uh, bonus uh, cash here. That should put us into a range of being okay, lots of good experience. So our pilots are going to get way more experience than we're ever getting in Rotec. And I've, um, I think I got this at slow experience generation too so so lots of mech parts could take the large laser um, not a lot to choose from though you know I may have to start taking mechs because like there's nothing here for me to take really take heat sinks so I don't have to buy them okay so locust parts one two three four panther parts we got another panther all right, 9R. So here's the question. Let's go into let's go into the barracks or our mech base, sorry. Now the decision is this. Do we keep the Jenner D running? Now I know it's fast, but we can outfit the Panther. I think what is the armor on this guy? Like it's almost maxed out. And we got four medium lasers. But it's not maxed out. That's the thing, right? The legs are weak. These torsos aren't maxed out. The back is still a little low. Now, it's got good jump mobility. And I could add more armor if I pull out a couple of jump jets. But if we go to... Um, the Panther. I mean, I could remove the Jenner. And then... We can add... Like, we could run the Panther instead. I need to really think about this. We need... We, we're going to need... We're going to need a long-range boat, and I'm wondering if we have to go with the Vindicator for that. What do we got here on this guy? So we got one missile hardpoint, two four laser hardpoints. Five laser hardpoints. So this guy is basically an upscaled Panther. Don't really have enough... Hmm. If we downgrade the PPC to a large, that gives us two tons and another 15 heat, I believe. Large lasers, 18, yeah. So, I mean, we could run two large lasers instead of a PPC. One on each arm. If I decide that this guy is not going to be capable of jumping. I mean, let's look at this for a second. Let's just do this for a second. I want to just see... Interested to see where we can get with this. So this guy decides to be the long-range boat. We can drop an LRM-10. Two large lasers. 
Our heat, in, uh, no, we're way over our heat, our, our weight already, so we can't really do this. But if we go with two large lasers, let's say, right, we still got enough for like, we could put a third one in too, right? That's the thing, right? We could run with three large lasers. Oh, we can't because of the weight. But what if we go with two larges, two mediums? Heat sinking is what? Yeah, we're a little low, but we've got enough for another heat sink and half a ton of armor. Um, sixty fifty one. It's pretty darn close. Could put a small laser in the head, but not really worth it. Um, this would end up being the long range boat, though. And let's look at like we could run this. Both of these guys are the same. Two Panthers exactly the same. Three mediums and an SRM four. Three mediums and an SRM four. And then another one. Like if we refit a Panther just to be a long range boat, let's say. So we go with an LRM 10. And we need a ton of ammo. Right, that's going to be 12 turns of firing. Drop it down here. Need to max out the armor though. Right? Something like that. And then we go with the PPC. We can't. We'd have to go with a large laser and a heat sink. Right? Or do we have to use the heat sink? We don't have to use the heat sink unless we drop something else in there. So we could go with a large medium, LRM 10, and one heat sink. If we take a half a ton of armor off. Something like that. Add an extra heat sink. So what are we at here? 3340, not too bad. This could be our long range boat. Nine days, 2850, let's go with that. So that would be the long range boat. Let's pull the Jenner out of service for now. So that Panther doesn't have any jump jets, but we don't need any on that, the long range boat. So if we pull out, let's pull the Jenner out of service to save a bit of cash, not a lot. Um, and let's refit this Panther. SRM, pull out, what do we do? We put three medium lasers in, right? And we needed heat sinks. We pull out two jump jets, so it's got the same mobility. How do we do the other one? Oh, right, because we need to add armor. That's right. Right. We need one more jump jet. Right? And then we need two heat sinks. Like that the SRM ammo on this side, put a heat sink in the head, just spread them around a little bit. So that's pretty efficient. Yeah, that's pretty efficient. We'll have enough for jumping and stuff too. So we're going to go this route. It's an increase in damage. Um, I don't like the fact that the PPC, we really need to make sure it's capable of hitting. This way we can spread some damage around the lighter mechs. So let's confirm that. It's eight days. So we got 17 days to wait, which is, isn't too bad. This guy is going to stay the same. We'll leave the Vindicator for now. Yeah. Let's go that route. And we're going to get to that point. Let's put in the repaired power conduits for plus two tech points. So that's going to give us a bit more speed. Five days. We got enough for the annual report, so we're fine. We're going to start selling some stuff here in a few minutes. But anyway, yeah, so if you liked the video, please drop a like. Um, feel free to subscribe. And I'm also running a Rogue Tech campaign. I'm sure you've heard this by now, but a Rogue Tech campaign called Cold Forge. There will be a link at the end of this video. You can link over to it. Uh, my goal is to try and get two of these episodes up a day until we're synced up with a number of episodes. Um, so that we're running congruent with 
um, cold forged and um, uh, this flashpoint the 900 um, that way you know we can see kind of comparatively how far along I get as we move as we move episode per episode comparatively between the two different uh, play styles um, so that's my goal um, please feel free to leave a comment and uh, drop a like um, yeah so but for, for now I think we'll end the uh, episode here and until next time I'll see you all later